and several appeals to the starter and told to get straight on the far side Maggie's girl turns to come in again a little bit out of line is Mount and Mary's the gray just a little bit behind the others that's it they're away Madison St. Mary's just a little bit slow away. The other 16 very tightly grouped as they come to the first with El Scarsdale just in the lead. El Scarsdale towards the outside. Maggie's girl on the inner. Moranzi going on now. Moranzi coming to the first in the lead from Evening Song and El Scarsdale. And at the first, Moranzi lands in the lead and they're all safely over. Summer Path makes a mistake in rear, but they're all safe. Moranzi is the leader then comes evening song and maggie's girl moranzi really taking him along too moranzi going on from evening song maggie's girl then melanessa towards the inside and all oh, made of mayard nearly went there nodded but uh, got away with it coming to the first of the ditches now and my goodness they are motoring on oh, moranzi is anyway in the lead well clear moranzi jumps well clear along. and pulled up is jupiter's gem jupiter's gem has been pulled up there Swinging left-handed, the 16 remaining, headed by Moranzi, a good 10 lengths clear of Maggie's Girl. Behind uh, Maggie's Girl comes Princess Isis, then comes Evening Song and Melanessa with towards the outside slip along right up there. Racing down towards the next with Moranzi and Eamon Murphy, who rides Tersel in the Grand National, a long way clear. Eamon Murphy lands well clear. Maggie's Girl jumps its second, Princess Isis is second, just in behind them, Evening Song, and then slip along, and then Melanessa towards the inside as they come to the next ditch, and Moranzi jumped it very fluently indeed, and all the rest safely over it as they come down to another plane one, this will be the second last on the next circuit, Moranzi is well clear of Maggie's Girl and Princess Isis, then comes slip along, and then Summer Path has made ground, Melanessa is next, just in behind them, Mistake there by El Scarsdale, got away with it, coming down to the next, and it's Moranzi clear. Moranzi and Eamon Murphy come to jump this one, a long way clear of Maggie's girl who jumps it next, then made of Mayard, a mistake there by Princess Isis. Melanessa comes next, then slip along as making progress. Then comes Silver Snow and Evening Song, and behind them Scotch Princess and Summer Path as they come down to the water. The only Grand National fence jumped this time. And Moranzi lands clear of Maggie's girl, slip along, made of Mayotte on the inside, then Princess Isis, then Melanessa, an evening song, then Summer Path on the outside, and Silver Snow. These being followed by Mount St. Mary's. Behind Mount St. Mary's is the Scotch Princess, and then comes Old Scarsdale, and then making a little bit of ground is Cheeky Run on the inside. But gang across the Melling Road and right over the far side. Moranzi has made all the running so far, has her ears pricked and is a good 10 lengths leader from Maggie's Girl and Slip Along and made a Mayotte and Princess Isis and Melanessa and then comes Bounce and Mary's at the next, Moranzi. Oh, she ran into that a little bit but didn't lose a lot of emphasis, a mistake there by Maggie's Girl. An unseated rider, Melanessa. Melanessa was unseated a rider with that one, made a bad mistake, gave her partner very little time to recover. Very little chance to recover and coming to the next, it's Moranzi, clear. of Maida Mayard has now gone into second, then Maggie's Girl is third. Then slip along an evening song, and behind evening song is Princess Isis, then the riderless horse, and, behind, and Mary, on the outside is Mount St. Mary's, coming to the second last ditch now. Moranzi is going to jump it clear of Maida Mayard. Then Maggie's girl who makes a bad mistake. Slip along is next. Behind slip along is evening song. Then Princess Isis. Cheeky Run has been pulled up after jumping that one. And now it's Maid of Mayard who's taken over. Maid of Mayard in the lead now from in second place. Slip along. As they race round this far turn with just four fences left to jump. Maid of Mayard with the advantage. From Slip Along in second, then comes Maggie's Girl, then Princess Isis. Then Evening Song, made a Mayard on the inside of Slip Along as they come down towards the third last. This is the final ditch. Made a Mayard landed in the lead from Slip Along. Trying to get back on terms is Maggie's Girl. Then comes Princess Isis, then Evening Song. This is the second last fence now. Made a Mayard. 
Jumps in the lead by two lengths from Slip Along. Maggie's Girl fighting her way back into the picture as they come down towards the final fence. Made of Mayard with the advantage as they come to it. Made of Mayard and Graham McCourt looking for his third winner of the meeting. Slip Along makes good progress on the near side. It's Made of Mayard from Slip Along. Slip Along on the near side. Made of Mayard on the far side. Slip Along has taken the advantage now. Slip Along and Charlie Mann as they race up towards the line B. Pressed by Princess Isis, but Slip Along has the advantage. They come to the line, and Slip Along wins it for Princess Isis. Second, third, made a mayor for Maggie's girl. That's the one, two, three, four in this Tattersall's Mayor's Only Novices Chase. The result, first, number nine, Slip Along, owned by Mr. J.M. Reed, trained by Peter Jones, and written by Charlie Mann. Second was number 17, Princess Isis, owned by Mr. Kieran A. McClintock, trained by Brown Forsey, written by Jimmy Duggan. And third was number four, Maid of Moyard, owned by Miss Louise Wood, trained by John Weber, written by Graham McCourt. And fourth was number 13, Maggie's Girl. This is the winner, and here's how she won it. It had been a good gallop for these mares, and at this point, you can see on the inside, Maiden Mayard, who had got the prize of the best turned out, looked as if she might take the prize of the winner as well. One from the rail there in the green is Maggie's Girl, who'd run a super race, and then the third one from the rail is Slip Along, trained by Peter Jones at Marlborough. Peter, who's been the kingpin and in the Arab racing that's been going for a few years now. But just look now as uh, the leader there, Maiden Mayard, gets a really good leap at the last, but so does the second, Slip Along, and that puts her bang in contention. And in third place there in the pink colours is Princess Isis on the outside. And just look, Jimmy Duggan has lost his irons now in the pink colours nearest to the, on the left of the thing. You can see that Jimmy, he's gone now, but he'll come back and you'll see quite distinctly he's got no irons. Meanwhile, Charlie Mann has gone for the line and he's looking for dangers, there aren't any. But you can see distinctly now that uh, Jimmy Duggan's irons have gone. I can assure you he's a lot more stylish than that when he's got both irons, but he's really going for it now. A good win there for Peter Jones. This slip along uh, is owned by Mr. J.M. Reed, and it will be well hailed in the Marlborough area, this one, I can assure you of that. Peter Jones, who has really been uh, the kingpin in the Arab racing, looks now if he's going to make it as a trainer under rules.